hey guys welcome back to my channel my name is Sabato Mokwena so good to have you all here if you haven't subscribed please do subscribe I'm back with a different video this time I am doing a high ponytail with my 4C natural hair and if you're interested in this look continue watching yes okay to begin this tutorial we are gonna need um, stretched hair I, I stretch my hair just a couple of minutes before because I was really really rocking a lot of shrinkage um, because yeah I hadn't combed my hair this whole week <laughs> or yeah even like did any hairstyle during the week so like my hair was yeah not looking good but yeah I, today I, get, I got to stretch it a little bit and also like, detangle a little bit and so this is me really just like detangling a little bit further because yeah we need detangled hair for this tutorial so that it can actually be easier to work with it's always best to work with like stretched or very um detangled hair <laughs> okay i'm gonna use a bit of like water to be able to um just like soften a little bit of my hair so that it's also definitely easier to work with and I'm gonna brush it all out so that it can actually be super 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 nice and neat um, yeah because we need it to be back um, I'm gonna be using my stocking uh, leg at uh, one of my stocking legs um, I cut it off like a long stocking that I wasn't using and so yeah this is what I use for my hair um, to just be able to put it up in a, into a high path um, yeah so I'm just like pulling a little bit of the hair just stretching it a little bit more because yeah as you can see my hair is very fluffy and just very yeah but yeah I kept on tightening it don't use too much tension though because you don't want to have a headache because yeah you don't want to have a headache so I use a bit of water um, to just also like help flatten a little bit of the hair just so that it's easy and manageable because we need this hair to be as flat as possible like as flat as possible and I'm gonna use my favorite gel the X gel to be able to like slick my edges and also like help with like slicking the rest of the hair um, sometimes you can do it actually way before you put your hair into a ponytail um, or a puff rather because we have you know this is like a bunny type of puff or whatever, whatever it's not a ponytail but anyway yes before you do that to your hair I think it's sometimes better to actually do it before and like just do exactly what I did by like do it before like putting um, the, the stocking thingy uh, or putting the hair into like a high puff just yeah so you can do it either way so I did it this way this time um, which I hardly ever do usually I, I go with like the 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 edges um way before um yeah before putting it into a puff so yeah this time i did it differently um yeah but i needed a lot of gel this time i used a lot of gel um just like to try to slick as like my hair as much as possible because yeah it needed a lot of slicking it is I think looking a little bit dry and yeah just yeah everything seemed to be going all over the place as you can see I have a lot of flyaways and I can see them like going through just watching this video but it, yeah to avoid that you definitely need a lot of black like, gel and water to just brush that hair in and just like take it all away and just like put it away and just yeah continue doing that for my edges I am gonna be using a toothbrush um well this was my first attempt at trying to actually pull out my hairs but because the gel is very 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 like hard and it had actually yeah made things super hard for me to actually like get my edges out so I had to work and try to yeah I, I had to do a lot of strokes and a lot of like brushing but some parts it worked and some parts it wasn't even doing much and so yeah I kept on doing it and yeah just used a little bit of water to be able to soften a bit of my hair so that I could be able to like yeah 
get those baby hairs out so that I can be able to shape them out properly so that I can slick them properly so I can rock them yeah, well. so yeah that's the most important thing here so if the toothbrush is not working use a normal bristle brush because it's harder than the, of course the toothbrush but you're for like slicking and styling a little bit you can definitely use your toothbrush it helps with that because I think with shaping because it's tiny it kind of does a good job um, but if it's giving you a hard time you can definitely use your brush again and that's kind of what I did because I, I wasn't seeing a lot of I guess movement with with this um, toothbrush I mean it did some parts but like yeah I, I felt like I needed to do um, my hair a little bit more and so i redid my my slicking of my edges because i was just like i really wanted it to look really nice and really defined and just yeah like see i think it looks way better than it did um the first time and so i yeah i needed to do that with this brush this brush really works way better um even with the hair it seems a little bit more slick than it did the first time so yeah i will give this brush a thumbs up because yes it's doing the things that need to be done <laughs> Finally doing the other side and just like slicking it a little bit better with like the brush and it looks really good and like I'm doing it like a little bit more and I like how it's like coming out it's very interesting just like doing what I needed to actually do and so I like the way it looks um it looks way better um so yeah for the ponytail we're gonna start with of course tucking away your natural hair so I'm just gonna be tucking away my hair right there just by actually putting it into a, a three strand like twist um, and just like yeah putting it as much away as possible but sometimes it's actually better to pin it down so that it's actually a little bit more flat and I think that's where my mistake was this was strike one um, I didn't put my uh, ponytail into like I didn't use bobby pins to actually like flatten it out a bit more and so yeah that was like the bad part but anyway um, I took a wig I used the wig guys I used the wig <laughs> for my ponytail because yeah I mean I figured I have a wig I don't use it uh, might as well use it for my ponytail and so you can see the line in the middle like the, the middle parting that's there because of course it's a wig um, but then yeah I will show you how to hide that parting without maybe I guess like taking like a marker or anything like that but also making the ponytail look a little bit more interesting so I'm gonna take a bit of the hair in front I'm just close to the parting and I'm just gonna take a bit of it just so that I can yeah just hide this parting a little bit and so you're just gonna like try to smooth it out and make it look super neat sometimes I think you should use a brush I use my fingers to to try to make it a little bit like smooth but I think using a brush would be better so use a brush um, and yeah because like this wig that I used had a lot of flyaways and just a lot of hair going all over the hair like my my face I mean and so yeah that was kind of annoying i didn't like that's kind of what i didn't like about this wig um yeah it just goes all over the place and so that's not good so yeah like my ponytail is really too like bulky so like if you don't want your ponytail to be too bulky like that you really have to flatten your hair a little bit more because like actually working with like super stretched and very um flat hair is a better option for this hairstyle or this like yeah so i might just do a do over with this hairstyle but anyway um yeah use bobby pins to tuck away the hair or just like tuck it away in a little bit but like yeah um i used bobby pins in the end to tuck it away because um it wasn't laying flat as i wanted it to but you will see with the last picture how it actually looks and um I hope you guys like this video and thank you so much for watching and I hope you guys can try this look and show me how it actually looks and um, 
yeah tell me what you think about it thank you so much if you like this video and you have something um that you would like to tell me to kind of like do next time i will definitely consider it and thank you so much for watching toodles